was standing on the banks of the river, looking out over life's troubled sea, when I saw an old ship that was sailing is that the old ship of Zion I see its hull was bit and battered from the storm
bless his holy name. I guess me and Tim had the same mind thought. He said, you want to sing He's All I Need? And I was just going to tell him, I want to sing He's All I Need. And I'm so thankful. He's all I need. I don't have much in this life, but I'm so thankful that I have the Lord. I'm thankful that I'm so glad that I'm saved. I'm so glad that He saved my unworthy soul. I'm so thankful for all that the Lord has done for me and what He's going to do. I'm so thankful that I'm safe in His arms. I'm so glad that I'm here to die. Bless her, Lord. I don't need silver I don't need gold I don't need the things of this world to satisfy my soul but I need Jesus and all he can give Cause he's my salvation Amen. Yes. He's why I live He's all I'll need When trials come He's all I need When there's nowhere to turn And when I'm in trouble Caught in the storms, Woo! he takes care of me. He's all I'll need when my time Amen. will come. Amen. When I cross that river, and my life here is done, and I victory stand won. He's all I'll need. I don't. I don't need fame I don't really care If anyone ever knows my name Cause I know Jesus And He knows me That's all that matters Cause he is the master yes. and he's my everything. Yes. He's all I'll need when trials come. Yes. He's all I need when there's nowhere to turn. And when I'm in trouble and caught in the storms, he takes care of me. all I need when my time will come when I cross that river and my life here is done and I fought the battle the victory stand won he's all I need he's all I need when trials come he's all I need when there's nowhere to turn and when I'm in trouble and caught in the storms, He takes care of me. He's all I'll need when my time will come. And I've crossed that river and my life here is done. And I fought the battle, the victory's then won. He's all I'll need. Okay, I think it's time to worship the Lord. I'm gonna obey the God. I'm gonna obey the Lord tonight. If you're here, whatever your trouble is, whatever you've carried in, it'll be a good time. The anointing of God's here. The Holy Spirit's flowing. You need to come to Jesus today and just talk things over with Him. Amen. Tell Him like it is. I like to talk to Daddy just like I do everybody. See, He knows me. Man, whoo. 
I could come to him naked and not ashamed. He knows that. You know, a lot of times we try to cover up before God. How silly is that? If a, if a God that I serve knows the very hairs that's been numbered on my head, not counted, but numbered, don't you think that he knows the very things that I fear and my failures and everything about me? And yet he wants to hear from us and talk to us and lay out before him and give us our burdens. You know, I was going to preach on prayer tonight. I think right now it'd just be a good time for somebody that's carrying some stuff. See, this is what prayer is. Prayer acknowledges God that, it, that, that I can't fix everything. That, that there's some things that are beyond me. Come on now. That I don't have the answer for everything. It's just a relief to know that I don't have to know everything. But I can know, go to somebody that does know everything. That a sovereign God. Amen. Who knows everything about me, my life, who's able to fix me. Oops. Papa's baby got smoked. Won't somebody come sing, children? Shout her out. Obey the Lord. Worship God. A handful of stones Where the soldiers had fallen he waited alone and with a prayer and a little rock the giant fell right on the spot yes. that's what David prayed for that's what David got no you can't ask too much of my You can't ask too much of my God. There was a woman drawing water from a well. She had so many regrets. So often she failed. And Jesus knew where she had been. And he forgave her of her sin. And her life began to flow Living waters for her soul No, you can't ask too much of my God No, you can't ask too much of my God When you're find the peace of mind it seems to leave you behind have you spoken to the God of Abraham the great I am he's greater than any problem you got no you can't ask too much of God smiled And when Sarah was 90 God gave her a child And I believe that just as then He's here to move like that again He has a miracle to do He only has to hear from you No, you can't ask too much of my God No, you can't ask too much of my God When you're broken And you cannot find the peace of mind It seems to leave you behind Have you spoken Much 
problem is that we think that we only bring our pro big problems to the Lord. That's where we get in, pro in, in, you know, in trouble. What's a big problem to God? They ain't. I mean, there's nothing big to Him. He's an omnipresent, almighty for God. It's like today, and, and it come across my mind, we had a little problem and our crew leader got aggravated, couldn't put a screw in a in a uh, in a transducer, it was a little old bitty screw. He was frustrated and mad, throwing glasses. And uh, I said, "Well, here, let me help." He said, "You'll not be able to do it." I got up there and I said, "Now, Lord, you glorify yourself here today." And I said, "You told me I could do all things through Christ, which strengthens me." Put that screw up there, turned it one time. Hey, Amen. It went right in. I said, "I glorify the Lord here tonight." Amen. I've learned in order for me, for, for my heart to be clear, to be purged, i got to get rid of all the mess. Amen. All the small stuff. Everything that comes and goes. If I let things build up, I get in a bad shape. My, my chariot turns to a pumpkin and my horse turns to a, uh, a mouse. i got to clear things out. i got to talk to him. Amen. I don't do anything without prayer. I think that we've lost the art of praying, church. The old timers, amen, tonight they used to call prayer meetings when, when people got in trouble. They wouldn't pray until God done something. One of the reasons that I feel like that we have to have all of the, the programs and everything to cover up is because we don't have that real tight intimacy with God anymore. I'm going to tell you something. You better be able to preach in this hour. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You won't be able to fill a church or you won't be able to even fill half of a church if you can't preach. You better be able to sing because you won't have a choir if you can't sing. Come on. You better be able to play an instrument pretty good because you won't be able to play in a church. Come on now. Why is that? Because we have covered up everything to, to, because of our lack of intimacy. But the old people wasn't that way. The old people, amen, would get into a service and they'd begin to sing, ain't God been good. That's all they were saying. Couldn't even carry a tune. They might not get to Carnegie Hall, but I'm going to tell you something, honey, it moved heaven. Amen? Because they had an intimate walk with God. Now, we've been talking about that, how important it is to draw close to the Lord in this hour. I thank you for coming. Thank you for the good worship. Keep praising me. I like it when people shout it out. Oh, I like it, boy, when God's people get rowdy. Hey, Amen. Looks like a bunch of Tennessee fans. That's right. Amen. So I praise the Lord. Very special day today. Will somebody go get the kids for me? All of you that don't know... Little Ian, Jason's little boy, gave his heart and life to the Lord, did he? Now, this just wasn't a feeling that he felt. God really got his hand on this young man. He couldn't wait to get to school to tell all of his little buddies, hey, I got saved. Called everybody up. Hey, what was the first thing you wanted? I want to tell everybody. Amen. I thought when I got saved, I'd go to Eastman, I'd be an undercover Christian. I thought, I ain't going to tell nobody. You know, I'll be undercover. I was sitting in there in the locker room in my underwear. No jib leg comes in and hollers. He come by and I just broke down crying. I said, I got something to tell you. I said, I got saved. Next thing I know, there was a bunch of big old fat men in the locker room of 89 or, dance, or 80, 85 dancing around like a bunch of idiots. 
Old Roy got saved. What a miracle it was. Amen. Amen. So you, I don't believe anybody that ever gets born again can keep it quiet. Do you? Oh, I want to tell it. What a good, gracious God he is. Well, where are they at? They're putting me on the spot. Ad-libbing. Bootlegging. The old, men, the old prisoners, when I went to Brushy Mountain, some of the other prisons years ago, they always liked it when I come in and do a little bootleg preaching. That's where, that's where you don't ever take a text. You just let the Lord uh, open up the heart and the scriptures and you just preach. They, they like that bootleg preaching. Gemma is excited. Let me ask you a question. Wouldn't that be wonderful to be as excited as that little girl when we meet each other? Oh, my. Talk about a pleasant place to live, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, Bubby. All right. You going to sing Lindsay then? All right. We appreciate Lindsay. What a blessing she is to us. Hey. jealous for me he loves like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy when all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me oh how he loves us oh oh how he loves us how he loves us like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy when all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and by the grace in his eyes if his grace is an ocean we're all sinking oh and heaven 
heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss and my heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about the way he loves us oh 